Welcome to the Duda Experts Education Series, brought to you by the Duda Solutions Partners here at Fixate Media. Today we're going to be discussing dynamic pages and dynamic content. We're going to begin by clicking on pages in your site, and we're then going to click on New Page. While most are familiar with the different page options up here, not everybody has had the opportunity to try out dynamic pages. Blank ones, real estate ones, team ones are there. And for today's example, we're going to use the team member example. And I'm just going to allow the system to actually build this for us so we can jump right into it. So, firstly, you see that there is a team member page that's been created. It's currently hidden from the navigation. And this little pancake stack is indicating that it's connected to a collection, right? It's connected to a collection. And so if you take a look at this page, we've got Jane Smith, we've got Jane's picture, we've got her title, we've got description, phone number, and email. And you notice that there's a little link on each of those that indicates it's linked somewhere. And if we scroll down, now we've got an image on the left, a heading on the right, text on the right. If we scroll down further, we've got work experience, education, professional skills, and then the other team members. All of those team members are controlled by going to content and then down to collections. You can see here we have a team collection. Clicking on the team collection exposes what would look like a spreadsheet or a table to most. If you roll over any of the records in that table and click on the two arrows that are pointing diagonally, it will open up the record, this one being for Helen Jameson. And basically, each one of these fields is mapped to a spot on those pages. So in essence, what we're doing is we're creating a template for all team members. The template's going to look the same for all team members, but only one page will ever exist, and adding the content back under content and collections is how you would add a new team member. And to do that, you would simply click the plus button. And in my case, I'm going to open this up just for ease of, of navigating it. And I'm going to fill in the fields. And the first field is the URL. And the second field would be my name. And the third would be the title and on and on. I'll pop in a couple of images there. We'll use the guy in the hat. And we'll put in a second image. And even without completing everything in the table, you'll see very quickly that if I come down to the other team members, there's Josh Nymark added just that quickly. And clicking, we'll have an identical format. So if I were to go ahead and fill in all the rest of the fields, this would look exactly the same. And so that's what a dynamic page is. And within the platform, there are some pre-built ones, as I just demonstrated. Or you can build blank ones and design them how you wish, and then go ahead and create the collection. Going back over to content and collections, the other really cool thing about this is that you have the opportunity to have that collection not just internally, but also via Google Sheets or even Airtable if you need that type of sophistication. So you can actually create the data outside of your website, connect it to pages inside of your website, and it will be creating those pages for you row by row. I'll stop there for today. We'll do another one that's a little bit more advanced. Thanks so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks from the Fixate Dude experts.